Nature provides us with clean air, with clean water, with fertile soils. Peatlands, as this one, are the kidneys of our landscape, filtering nutrients, buffering heavy rainfalls, and keeping water in the landscape. It is possible to restore very, very damaged and degraded habitats, bring them back into use for climate mitigation, adaptation, supporting biodiversity, supporting heritage. This wonderful Abelix bog is now being returned to an active, growing bog, storing carbon, instead of releasing it as CO2 in the atmosphere. We started off in 2000 when the community stood up against a local semi-state body who wanted to harvest this uh, site and it has become a pride and joy for the local community since. This project is all about conservation and conservation in the broadest perspective. The species management make it easy for nature to recover and to regrow and to increase the biodiversity on the site. Part of that is also to do some active restoration work by putting in pea dams on the cutaway area areas and on the raised bog areas over the years and the idea of that is to raise the water table to the ground level and that in, in turn will create the conditions for the sphagnum moss which is the bog boulder to actually start growing and that gets you the peat formation that helps us to keep the carbon in the soil and actually help to reduce our carbon emissions. The peatlands of the world, covering 3% of the world's surface, store more carbon than all the forests of the world combined. Peatlands are our natural allies when it comes to climate change and biodiversity loss. It is so impressive to see what a decade of work of dedicated people can do in our overall goal to preserve our natural resources, which we all live on. It really gives uh, many people a sense of health and well-being. They're looking at dragonflies and mayflies. They're looking at different types of orchids. They look at uh, many, many different types of uh, butterflies. And all the while I've been here over the last two hours, you're hearing the bird song. It's absolutely fantastic. So a great example of nature restoration. Before we used to talk about protecting nature, but now we've moved forward and we're talking about restoring damaged habitats. In the European Parliament, we're working at the moment on the nature uh, restoration law. We must not fail our promises. We must not fail European people. And we must not fail European nature, because nature is the basis of everything we're doing. And what we are trying to achieve is to make this sort of project possible all over Europe. We support farmers and we make sure that those who are willing to restore nature and that they're well supported and compensated for doing that.